welcome. Everybody else can be seated. Gentlemen, do you want to come and join me? Hi. How are you? Do you want to no, stand just down here? I'm going to see if I can get my friend. Is it okay? No, are you awake? I don't want to be. <laughs> well, you've got to come and tell the children a story. Oh, is there an audience there? Yes, there is. Oh, okay. I guess I'll wake up. Oh. Oh. Oh, I was having a lovely nap. Oh. But look, the public is here. I must perform. Um, hello, how are you? What's your name? Molly. Oh, good, yeah, I see your label there, I'm sorry. Um, I'm a little bit sleepy, Molly, I'm just waking up. I, I have a question for you all. Oh, actually, shuffle over this way a little bit so that, so that May can come over and squeeze in a bit more. Will you all shuffle over a little bit? Come closer, good. Hello, May. How are you? She's starstruck. She can't believe she's talking to a thespian such as myself. Um, uh, so I wanted to tell the story today, and this is what I wanted to ask about. Have you ever learned a song from your mum or maybe a grandma sitting on their knee or perhaps, I don't know, in the living room or something? Have any of you ever learned a song from anybody like that? Okay, let me ask a different question. Do you know nursery rhymes and stories and songs? Where did that come from? How did you learn them? Can anyone think? What do you think, Molly? Mm -hmm. From books you read? Maybe at bedtime. Did somebody read to you from books? No, I read. Molly reads to herself. That's very good. You know, some of these things happen before we can even remember where they come from. Sometimes people tell us stories. They tell us stories and they sing us songs and they go into our heart before we even really know where they come from. And then if they're really good stories and good songs, they start to shape us and make us the people we'll become. I want to tell you this because Mary sings a song in today's gospel. She sings a song we call the Magnificat. In her song, she is excited that Jesus is going to be born, and she sings a song that says his life is going to change the world. People who are rich and powerful are going to be brought down. People who are lowly and poor and hungry are going to be lifted up, and the world is going to be reorganized and hopefully be fairer. But you know what? Mary didn't make that song up. We know that way back in the Hebrew Scriptures, Miriam sang a song. Miriam, the sister of Moses. She sang a song when they were escaping from Egypt. Do you know what the song was about? It was about the rich and the powerful being brought down and the lowly being lifted up and everybody getting what they needed. You know what else? Hannah, Samuel's mother, sang another song when she was so thankful that Samuel had been born. Do you know what it was about? It was about the lowly being lifted up and those who are rich and powerful being brought down and the world being fairer. Do you know what we think happened? We think that in the ancient world, Mothers taught their daughters a song when they were so young that the song just got into their hearts. So that when an exciting moment happened or they saw God moving, they would sing this song and it would help them to understand how God was changing the world. So I hope you can take songs like this into your hearts and sing them and live them. Because if we carry these ideas in our hearts, we could be the ones that could change the world. Thank you so much for listening. You've been really good. Would you like to head back again? I'm going to have a bit more of a nap. Bye.